are we this morning, Corrine? Well, we've decided to take a trip to the Crooked Creek, which is just outside of the main part of town. And it's by the U.S. Forest Service office. There's a little waterfall right behind the office here. And we're going to take some photos of this waterfall on a lovely overcast day. And not only is there a cute little uh, uh, forest uh, station cabin here, but there's a really lovely sculpture of a fisherman interacting with a bear. And it's uh, entertaining and you don't want to miss it. Sean's setting up here down by the lower end of the waterfall and you can see they've made like a little garden setting here and beautiful waterfall cascading down. Just a couple little cascades on this end. I'm doing my photographs up here by the upper part of the waterfall. You can see a uh, top tier up there hidden by the branches, a mid tier. And then from there, it pulls down into a lower tier. And I want to try and get my shutter speed around an eighth to a fifteenth of a second. The interesting thing here is with the vegetation and the waterfall, you're getting some movement. You can see that in the bush over there. And when I do the slower shutter speed, that can blur the leaves. Fortunately, I'm working on the leaves closer up to that waterfall, and those are not blowing quite as much. So it's letting me do the slightly slower shutter speeds with that velvety look to the water. I have ISO 100, I'm at F11, and as I said, I'm targeting a 15th to an eighth of a second shutter speed. In my first composition, I was working on including that upper tier of the waterfall and this main mid-tier. But I've also got some really nice foreground material here to use in a composition. So I'm just going to do a few photographs where I'm predominantly doing this mid-tier, getting the little lower tier and including this rock in the pool. So this morning I decided to shoot the lower falls while Kareem was up shooting the higher falls. Uh, it's an absolutely beautiful curving little cascade. Uh, this morning I decided to get down really close to the rocks and focus in uh, both really tight on just the flow of water across the two cascades and then I pulled back and took a few shots uh, a little further back in the composition. Again, as usual, uh, I like to slow the shutter speed down to about uh, about a sixth of a second. I'm sorry, about 0.6 seconds, and uh, that was a pretty good flow, uh, pretty good uh, uh, shutter speed for this uh, flow. Uh, I also used uh, polarizer to take some of the. Uh, glossiness off these rocks. They were very, very glossy this morning. And as uh, you know from past videos, I like a little bit of gloss, but I don't like too much. <clears throat> and this morning, actually, I took even more off to give the image more of a green, black, white kind of uh, look to it, which I thought uh, looked really good. So hopefully those will come out and you'll probably see them here in a minute or two. So we've had a great time visiting Valdez. It's been a lot of fun. What was your impression, Green? Uh, it was a really nice, friendly town, and they had some good food, uh, coffee espresso, which I always like, and some <laughs> good photography. Yeah, we had some a really nice time shooting uh, 
sort of iPhone travel log pictures of the town. And we also got an opportunity to do a few extra things, you know, boat ride and a waterfall and some other things that uh, made it really enjoyable. If you enjoyed our video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of our videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And as always, if you hit that uh, notification button, you'll be notified of when we release videos. And we love your questions and comments and thoughts, and we try to respond as soon as we can. Just go ahead and write in the comment section down below. Tell us what you like. We always love hearing from you, and we love to hear what you like and what you don't like. It helps us improve the videos. And until next time, bye for now. Bye for now.